Hey guys. Um, I bought a set of shocks. You can see them there. And the shocks are great. Okay, they're 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 Hagen, Hagen or whatever, and they, they're really nice finish. And uh, you know they, they just fit right on and everything. Uh, there's a couple issues that I just want to make everybody aware. One is I, I went with a uh, the the free extended length of the stock shocks on this H1D are. 12.6 inches okay so I took it upon myself to try and raise the rear end a little bit and I went with 13.8 okay so that's a 1.2 inch increase in free length you know or when you take the shock off lay it on the ground you know it'll measure 13.8 and the stock ones are 12.6 okay so anyway and you know life was sweet it was looking good and, uh, but anyway, I found there's uh, an issue. One is the standard issue, and, and it's not real bad. I think it'll it'll fix real easily. But notice my shiny chain guard is gone. That's because uh, my finger here it is right back in here. Well, on the other side, really, it hits. Okay, I think the cutout in the chain guard will be fine. But the bracket where it mounts to the frame hits by just a little bit. I think I can just remove a little bit of stock and that'll be okay. Okay, so that, that's the nice part. Whoop. Kicked my stand. Um, the bad part is this. With the bike sitting here free, let me see if I can get in on this. Oh, look what happens. The, uh, get my finger back. The wheel adjuster or whatever hits the pipe and, and these are just you know Den Jim's Bedenkos is what they are so Denko replicas whatever and of course the axle nut is getting dangerously close so anyway if you're thinking about raising the rear end a 1.2 inch rise um, depending on your exhaust you may or may not have issues and you know and of course you got to redo the chain adjustment um, uh, other than that the bike sits um, you know really I mean for me to sit on it and I'm only five foot seven um, no problem at all you know I can still touch the ground and, it, and it's really great and when you sit on it the springs do compress and it does clear the exhaust but if I were to you know jump off of a ramp or over the Grand Canyon or whatever that axle is going to hit my exhaust so I don't know if I'm going to go back to the stock length or just their next available length which I think was 13.4 um, I don't know what I'm going to do but uh, I want to see if he'll exchange these for me and uh, get a shorter one okay thanks